So I found this interesting refrigerator walking down the street today. Someone's throwing it away. It has this really nice map on the back showing exactly how it works. But the one part I don't understand is this condenser loop. I understand the condenser coils, but why after the hot gas is condensed down to high pressure liquid, do they send it into this condenser loop that seems to be inside of the refrigerator? I'll show you what I mean. So here's the condenser coil. So we come out of the, con out of the compressor, the hot gas is coming up here and into the compressor coil. Here it's getting cooled down from the ambient temperature in the room, comes out here as a high pressure liquid, but then if you look it goes up into, it seems like it goes up into the refrigerator, although I can't find where it's going in the refrigerator, and then comes back out. Presumably here it's maybe a slightly cooler high pressure liquid, goes through the filter dryer, and then goes to the metering device, which in this case is this capillary tube, and then goes back into the refrigerator to the evaporators, and the evaporators are in here. This is half the evaporator, and this is the other half of the evaporator where it cools the inside. Can't really find where that condenser loop is, so I'm guessing it's behind, it's inside the frame of the refrigerator. If you know what that condenser loop is for, please let me know. Is it for like defrosting or dehumidification or something like that? Thanks. Thanks to Mike Kelly on Quora, I found out that this is in fact called a Yoder loop and it exists to keep frost from forming around the seal where the door attaches to the chassis of the refrigerator. In that spot, you can get a little bit of condensation every time you open and close the door because the inside of the refrigerator is cold and the air outside has humidity and it would slowly uh, build up a little bit of an ice layer there and then ice would keep the gasket from sealing tightly and then that would let even more air in which would make more condensate which would freeze into more ice and eventually you wouldn't be able to close the door of your refrigerator or freezer. So they put this loop around that edge right underneath the gasket to make that be warmer so that no, there would be no condensate forming there. So interesting historical fact. If you feel around the edges of your refrigerator, uh, you might find that it's warmer than you would expect right where that gasket touches because there's a Yoler loop under there.